have another intro. Here we go. 93.3 WMMR presents Know the Show with Preston Elliott, Steve Morrison, Casey Boy, Nick McElwain, Kathy Romano, and Marissa Magnata. Six ordinary people who spend over half their waking hours together and know what goes on in each other's heads better than most newlyweds. Or do they? <laughs> Here to find out is the host of Know the Show, Mark yes, Thank you, Don Pardo. Welcome once again to the second half of Know the Show, starring the entire gang from the Preston and Steve Show. We're going to move over to Nick right now. Ah. Questions are uh, been uh, asked uh, to Nick. He has written answers down. We're going to see if the crew here can... Uh, and match them up, and here's the first one about Nick. If for some reason radio didn't work out, what career would Nick say he would be best suited for? What would Nick do? That's there, the possibilities are. All right, Preston, ten seconds. I need an answer. Okay, um, got to keep this game moving. <laughs> I guess I can't say fluffer, right? No, no. fluffer <laughs> is uh, is his current occupation. Uh, <laughs> I th- it's the only thing I can think of because I do know that he is uh, fairly decent at this skill, or at least the most accomplished amongst us here. But I'd say. Uh, Nick would be like an IT guy. Okay. I know that would bore the living hell out of him, and it's probably wow. not the answer that he wrote down. But it's the only thing I could think of because that is a difficult question. Uh, I, Nick has a uh, you know a good command of the English language. I, I think he would go into writing, uh, whether not it be bad. books, novels, screen. Uh, uh, I think do. because you could take so much time off. A teacher. Ah. <laughs> Very nice. Now, Kathy's the one who's been batting a thousand so far. Yeah. What do you think Nick would do if he was not in the radio business? Well, it's funny because I was thinking an English teacher. That's one that I was thinking. That's but actually I, what I was thinking. But I didn't go with that. I went with a geographer. Oh, a geographer. Mm. He's yeah. really good with geography. But we're finally to Marissa. Well, Nick and I have had this conversation about how lucky we are to have this job. And without this, we said we'd probably just be a waiter or something like that. But that's too easy. I said um, cruise director. Cruise, cruise director. director. Very good, Marissa. Marissa. Well, and what did say? <laughs> yes. I thought it had maybe something to do with travel. This one was really, really hard. I thought uh, long and hard about it. Um, but I went with teacher. Ah, yeah. Very yeah. nice. How about that? Uh, so Steve and Casey did extremely well on that. Yeah, you do. What right. will Marissa say is the one trait, physical or otherwise, that will override a long list of bad traits when selecting a potential suitor? That's the worst written question I've ever done in my entire <laughs> career. <laughs> right, Wait one a minute. More time. What one more again? time. What will Marissa say is the one trait, physical or otherwise, that will override a long list of bad traits when selecting a potential suitor. I have, it's, uh, yeah, it's money. It's uh, cash. <laughs> yeah. Cash, cash right? in the bank. A big wad. All right, Casey, yeah, I, mean I, money. Think, I was going to go with, uh, with a uh, big wiener. But I don't think she's that shallow, so I went with Rich. Yeah, all right, yeah. money is actually the answer twice. <laughs> We're going over to Steve. I don't think money is all that important, and I think since she's in the, uh, it is important to a level. But since she's in the dating frame of mind right now, I went with large genitals. <laughs> Okay, Kathy. I think that everybody jokes that it's the money, but I don't think it is. I think it's the uh, member size, the the, the large genitals really? as well. Wow. Wow. All right, so we have two of those. Wait to, wait to the <laughs> emails you're going to get after this one. <laughs> All right, and here I think we go, it's money, And I think if it's, she gives any other answer, she's lying. All right, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I went with wealth. Yeah. Okay. All right, Marissa, tell us. Well, as soon as I read this question, I knew that you guys were going to give those two answers because it's pretty obvious. But um, I think given my dating history and what I've learned um, when it comes to one good trait, though I am shallow in some points and like to have a good time, I need a guy who's outgoing. Oh, oh my God! Oh, you're so actually, full of it. You're lying. You're so full of it. You're not, you're not oh my God! You're, you're, you're saying that so, just because he's outgoing, that would override everything else. Let like me, like a like a very small penis. Let me. Well, I need to defend myself here. No, I think I need someone that likes to have fun. Is a right. good conversationalist. Is somebody that will be outgoing. Right. Nobody we are scores <laughs> on that she one. She misread the question or no. is misrepresenting herself. I Steve, how many times a week will Casey say he lets Han Solo? Go to the cantina with Luke Skywanker. <laughs> <laughs> Closest to the actual number wins. So that's code. I have no idea what that means. We right. went, nah, nah. So how many times a week will Casey say he lets Han Solo go to the cantina with Luke Skywanker? Oh, on average. This is, this on is average. average. On average week, week and, and closest to the All number right, wins. Preston, what do you say? I know the answer. It's five. Hmm. Five. I know it. Hmm. Why do you know that answer? Just because uh, Casey has a nighttime ritual during uh, the workday. Uh-huh. All during right. The work and I call him after everyone. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Who are you was, thinking about? Yeah. No, I don't want to get in there. <laughs> Steve. I went with three because, well, I know he, he, he is very active in this area. He does have a family with the mans, and uh, sometimes it's hard to get to this activity. All right, Kathy, any ideas on this? Okay, yeah, well, I went with five as well because he does have a family, and I know that it's very busy when you have three kids, yeah. um, and his wife stays home with them, probably very tired at the you end of the night. You gotta work it out sometimes. And same thing, he says that uh, he kind of does this during the work week, so I went with five. All right, two fives and a three. We move over to Nick. I went higher than everyone else. <laughs> I, uh, I figured it was on average once a day, so I went with seven. All right. seven. seven. Damn. And Marissa. Um, I went right in the middle, hoping that uh, he takes care of it, and at least once he gets lucky a week. So I said six. Six. Right. Six. Yeah, so Casey, well. we're all dying to know oh, the I'm answer. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm sure my mom and mother-in-law and everybody else is dying to know this yeah. right and now. And your wife as well. And my and where wife. Where do you go do this? Is the uh, question. Uh, well, it's like putting a baby to bed. Five. Five. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Wow. There you go. Nice job. Is that me? What wow. member of the show will Marissa say she might have dated oh, had God. she not been working with them? Our, I'm going to say this answer because I know that she wouldn't want to answer the question. So I'm going to say it's Kathy. Mm. Whoa! Curveball. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, she has been th- sort of throwing curveballs uh, with yeah. all her answers here. Um, here's the deal. Uh, there, there, <laughs> there's an answer, and then there's an answer that she'll write down. Mm-hmm. What were you, to, that's yeah. what I was going right? for. Right? Now, you, you're anticipating a sort of a smoke screen. If she, uh, so that's, if she yeah. answers... Really? Yeah. You're gonna. Uh, you have one. Answer. Are we saying that Marissa is the least truthful <clears throat> on these answers? No, what? no. Yes. I just think all of us know her least. Really? None of us have got any. Or you got one right, Preston. Yeah. I think I actually put a lot of thought into these to answer them correctly. So all this right. one, I know everyone has their answers written down already, so you can't change it. Oh, right. I answered this truthfully. Casey. All right. I uh, I went with me. Ah, Casey and Kathy over to Steve. I went with Casey as well because if outgoing is the key, then that would be Casey. No Kathy. question. And since penis know. size is not a key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think that... Um, You're pretty outgoing. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish you'd be going, going out right now. Uh, I think you are outgoing, and that's obviously what she's looking for, but I think that like the nose picking and stuff grosses her out. Yeah. So... <laughs> what do you think, Kathy? Need an answer. I'm going to say... It's either it's between me or Nick, but if you said you truthfully answered it, I really don't think you're a lesbian, so I'm gonna say Nick. All right, we have a Nick, and now we go to Nick. Um, Marissa and I have been um, drinking together many times together. We get along really well, and so this is not an ego thing, but I think that we would make a nice couple. So, so I we have uh, two Nicks. <laughs> I use couple on purpose. A Kathy, <laughs> <laughs> Marissa, up to you. What is your answer? Well, when I was thinking about this, I kind of aligned my age with everyone at their points in their lives right. at what it would be. And I think where he was at the point in his life where I am right now, 26, the rock star thing, I would have dated Preston. Whoa! Whoa! I'm shocked. Thank you, Marissa. That is very nice. And you know what? I go bang. Marissa (laughs) is the grand prize winner. The person who has worked here the least amount of time knows everybody the best.